Victoria Beckham. Also known as Spice Girl, Posh Spice, one of the most photographed women on earth. David Beckham, the perfect man, an international soccer superstar. Together, they are the royal couple of European celebrity, and they're moving to Hollywood. But before they do, Victoria will jet ahead and get things ready. Tonight, spend an hour inside the private life of a very public figure, as Posh Spice scrambles to get things done. Get your cameras ready. Get the champagne on ice, because this show is major. Is that major? Victoria major. Beckham is major, yeah. coming <laughs> to America. I think I'm gonna like LA. in Madrid doing a photo shoot for W magazine. They always say, my God, David is so handsome. He's gorgeous, he's so good looking, and she's so funny. Basically, that means you're a pig with a sense of humor. I love you. We are so excited about moving to America. You know, David and the boys. We love to take the kids everywhere we go with us, and I think they're just excited to live by the beach for for years to come. The American people in general are so enthusiastic and, and friendly. They're really excited. Can't wait. Really looking forward to it. It's going to be a new life for us. A great life for us. David and the boys are going to stay in Spain because David has to finish the soccer season while I go to America to get everything organised for them. Do you think I'm a bit overdressed for this? A little bit. It's really exciting that I'm setting up this new life for David and the kids, but I hate being away from my home. Give me a kiss. I'm <laughs> safe. <laughs> Hello. Adios. It was really sad. I found it really, really hard to leave this time. Really hard. I walk home, shall I? You'll be alright. Someone will pick you up. When we get to America, it's going to be great. We're going to pick up our bags at the airport and we're just going to walk through. No one's going to notice us because people don't know who we are there. So, yeah, I think I'm going to be quite low key, which will be nice. It'll be like a bit of time out. <laughs> Okay, so I guess they were expecting me, or maybe they thought that there was someone else on the plane. Maybe they thought, like, Madonna was coming into town or something. Did anybody just see that photographer? I am sure it was one of those guys out of NSYNC. <laughs> I'm excited. We're staying in a rental house at the moment. Oh, this is the house. From the outside, it looks like a giant dusty ice cube. Oh, wow. Look, Twiggy. Look at the dogs. Look at the doggies. Look at the doggies. Fantastic. Let's have a look around. 
Oh, it's great. It's a great space and it's very modern. Very, 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 very What's modern. What's that? Whose piece of art is it? Whose piece of what are you looking at? It doesn't even look like a penis, it just looks like... <laughs> Frank. He's very shiny on the edge. <laughs> That's awful. That's really awful, actually. Let's go outside. It's fantastic. What a great view. Well, we're way up high, no? It's fantastic. <laughs> this is going to be great. We're going to have fun here. Cheers. Fabulous. Cheers. 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 Well done. So I'm here. I've got a lot to do. I don't know where to start, what direction to run in first. <laughs> but I have so much to do, it's going to keep me really busy. I reckon this is what Paris Hilton does every single day. This kind of thing. Ben and Maria Louise are my closest friends. I've known them for years and years and years. Maria Louise does my makeup and Ben does my hair. I love them even more for that too because they make me look good. I'm going to take a picture. Hang on. I'm going to send it to David. I got you one minute. I'm not very good at this. I can't hold this pose forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look good. No, I can't see your face. How's that? There you go. You look like you're sniffing your armpit. Right, that's good. <laughs> Today, my American personal assistant is turning up. I don't know who she is, I don't know anything about her, um, but hopefully I'm going to really like her. <gasps> Shall I get that? Are you going to go? Or okay. am I going to go? Are you going to go? Yes, it's good that she thinks I'm kind of normal. You're Don't normal. look at my bum. Well, I wouldn't normally do something like answer the door, would I? No. Oh. <laughs> the most important thing I'm looking for in a personal assistant is someone that's professional. She can't be too good looking. She can't be too thin. Um, it's all got to be about me. God, she's bloody impatient. I'm coming. Okay. And Posh can open doors too. Hello. Hi. How Hi. are you? Good, thank you. I'm how Monet. are you? I'm Victoria. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come through. Your bathing suit. Thank you. Yeah, we're sitting out trying to get some sun. Oh wow. Come Do you through. Open? Yeah, leave them open. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so this is Renee. Hi. Hello. This is Ben. Ben, Hi, ben. Renee. Nice, nice to meet you. you. This is Maria Louise. Hi. Maria Louise. Hi, very Renee. nice to meet you. What's my legs are actually going brown. Yeah, my legs are burning. Those are awesome shoes. Thank you. I always think high heels are good because they really lengthen you out, you know. Huh. You should try getting some. Right. <laughs> as modern as these flat shoes can be, I would die before I wear some ballerina pumps. Um style tips. So um, I'm not really very good at doing interviews, so we just thought no. like, if we just hang around and have okay. a chat. Yeah. Let me get my book out. Is there anything, uh, you know, oh, we need to I'll warn just, her about that you kind of need and stuff? What I need? We just need to make sure she's up to speed so, You know, it's good that you can do everything, you know, from if, if you turn up in the morning and David needs something, or the boys need something, or the dog needs something, oh, that, or my mum and dad need something, or Ben and Rue Louise need something, or if just someone or anyone needs something. Okay. You see, normally I'm at home with the children all day, doing the school run, doing everything. This is the first time I've actually sat down and kind of socialised. Um, am I going to ever be personally assisting David, or...? No, why do you want to? No, no, I mean, I, if what you do need you, me... Like, what, do you find him attractive, or...? I, he's not, no, I, he's not ugly. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean, like... I'm really nervous, I'm sorry. Aww. So how about, <laughs> like, we, we, we do, like, a few months together, okay. see how you get on, see how you like me. Great, OK. Renee is really cute, really sweet, really friendly, really girly, but she needs help on how to dress. We need to get her out of those trousers she was wearing that made her look a little bit like a wildlife warden. Looking good? Oh, cool. okay. Nice to meet you. And you. Thank, Thank you so much, I'm really excited. Good. In LA, everybody drives everywhere. And David and the boys are gonna be here in like three weeks and two days, so I've gotta get my driving license so I can drive the kids about. 
can drive David about. So Renee came up with the idea of, I'm going to go to this place called the DMV where I'm going to have to do a written test. What is um, an intersection? Like a... Uh... Crossroads. Oh, okay. So there's a light and then there's this, What you know, there's... Okay, we need to translate this into English, though. Okay. I'll try to do that. You know, in England, you can park any way around you want, mm. but you can't park facing the wrong way. Otherwise, good. you get a ticket. No, but here you don't you have, have to park full stop because everywhere has valet parking. Um, well, that's good. I'm also going to take the car out and do some practicing of driving. I would put on a seatbelt if I was. We are, we are, we are. I was doing a really, really great job. Oh. Oh. <laughs> have you been drinking? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can I? Just put it right here. Oh. Oh. Go ahead, hit your brake. Yeah, put it in the park. Stick in between, Ben, quick. There's no much to stick. Hey, don't put my brake on. Don't put the brake on. No, you're fine. Just put it on the window. Keep the stick belt on. Do you need more lip gloss? <laughs> Roll down the windows. <laughs> Can I share driver's license, please? Yes, clear the street. Clear the street. It's a Spanish one. It's a what? Spanish. Don't just step out of the car, please. God. We'll promise we'll come oh, and visit Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. My shoes. Oh, your bra more. I was completely shocked and devastated because I was wearing flat shoes. You're not allowed to drive with this license here in California. Really? You're not no, straight. I'm just practicing. Pardon me? I'm just practicing, so I'm going to be taking my test. Practicing? Does the person have a license? Uh, yes, it does. My advice to you is go down to yeah. and get that in care of, right? Thank you. I still don't know what I did wrong. <sighs> I didn't know whether to pose or get arrested. Where are we going now? The DMV. Oh, I love your slippers. Look at those. Beat us. Hi. Hello. How can we help you? Oh, a driving license, please. Thank you. Step all the way back behind the line on the floor. Do you need that behind your ear so we can see you better? Maybe just do that like that. Ready? Hold it. Okay, hold that. Perfect. Good. Do I get approval? No. Oh. No, my hair looks flat. Can I do another one? This is the D and V. We can't. Uh, That's not. Nice. Oh, you don't do retouching. No. Okay, so now you need to take the law test. Hello. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. You Bill. are Victoria? Yes, Bill. Glad to meet you, Victoria. May I have a signature? Yes. Do you mean to write it to anyone? Oh, not, not you mean an actual... No, just for the text. Okay. <laughs> have a seat and good luck. When you change lanes, please stop at the Victoria, do you need anything? Is it illegal to have one or more light on inside the car when you're driving? Yes. Excuse me. Oh my God, I thought you was going to hit I'm me sorry. then. I'm so sorry. I I'm paranoid have, about people I in my back. I saw you having a conversation with that lady. You're not over here asking no questions. No, no, no. I was asking about yeah. my hair. Oh, okay. Well, you know, not supposed to be no conversation. Okay, okay. You're supposed to be doing the test, okay? Okay. All sorry. right. Victoria, I'm watching you. I'm watching you too, Bill. Okay, I'm done. Victoria, how you think you did on the test? I think I did okay. Have you driven a lot over here? Uh, I drove this morning and it wasn't a really great experience. Uh -huh. Now you can go and get the Mercedes. Okay, I already have one. Actually, I've got a Bentley. Oh, oh, well, let me have the Mercedes. Okay, you can have the Mercedes. I've got <laughs> right. a Bentley without a roof. Okay, but congratulations. Okay, thank okay, you so much. Well, thank you, I won't need that now. You can have that. <laughs> I have all your necessary oh, reading material. Okay, here we go. And you're in this one, page 72. Oh. I think people probably see me as a miserable, pouty bitch, to be completely honest. You know, just because of all the paparazzi pictures. Back up. When you come on a long flight and you feel horrible and your hair looks a mess, it's annoying that there's photographers there to capture you not looking great. People see these images and they get a negative impression. Vicky could barely crack a smile as she arrived at an AX airport. Victoria, have you seen what this dude's writing about here? Oh my God. Perez Hilton has this website where he basically just talks about celebrity, prostitutes. I'd spit in his food. 
<laughs> His office is like at a coffee shop. We should go and see him. Yeah. He gets five and a half million hits a day. I saw some of the things he was saying about me, so I thought I'm going to hunt him down and I'm going to sort that bad boy out. Oh, this looks like fun. <laughs> I think I recognise him from the internet. Hello. <laughs> nice. I should stand up. You should stand up. Wow, that's a fierce tie you've got on there. Thank you. That's a major tie. Purse. This is Ben, my hairdresser. Nice. Can I get you something? He was actually more nervous than I thought he was going to be. I brought you a cookie. Oh, thank you very much. I want to see you eat it. Oh, no, I can't. I don't want to ruin my image. <laughs> I don't want to be seen smiling. <laughs> Having fun or eating, perish the thought. At least nibble. Not one that's pretty, because I can't be seen to actually eat. <laughs> okay, so what about some of the names that you've called me? Um, I think I may have called you an, an alien. Really? Hmm. Or... Yeah. Hmm. Robot with really big boobs. Hmm? Yeah. With no feelings. With no feelings. Do they seriously? Do they look that big to you? <laughs> do they really? No, really. Well, they're kind do, of squished into it. Oh. You're wearing a bra. They're not that big in the flesh. flesh. They're not that big in the flesh. So, um, people really want to know: Has Tom Cruise tried to convert you to Scientology? No, he hasn't. Has he I'm mentioned not, it? No, he hasn't. Not I'm once. Not, I know a bit about Scientology, but he has not tried to convert me. And I would love to say yes, she he has. But I'm being being totally you. serious. Do you know what? You love him. I love Jennifer Lopez. She's pretty nice. She's amazing. She seems like she has a sense of humor. It, does she? She's got she's a very not good not sense of humor. Are there she any celebrities like, that you don't like? Uh, Eddie Murphy. Oh, uh, okay. Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I like that. Okay, what do you think about Paris? <laughs> There's a few girls around here that go out without knickers on. You know. Why do they do that? She wears some nice clothes, but other than that, I don't really know anything about her. <laughs> so what do you think? Are you surprised at what I'm like? Am I the same? Do I look more like a stewardess than you imagined I would? <laughs> I think that, um... I think you should get bigger boobs, smile less, right. and send me some nude shots of your husband. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody did send me nude shots, but I think they were fake. And his penis is so much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you some real pictures. Uh, no, I can okay. see it in person sometimes. Okay, he was actually nicer than I thought he was going to be. Well, we should do a deal, okay? There's a bit of a deal going on here. Won't tell anybody. We'll start doing some nice shit here, and then I can get you in the locker room, okay? We can get them naked. You're going to love it. Maybe I'll change your alien head to a crown. Yeah. Okay, that's a good deal. We like that. <laughs> I hate the fact that I actually thought he was all right. He actually made me laugh. But then ask me in six months' time when he's writing more about me and he's being more me, maybe I'll change my mind. Thank you. Are we going now? We're off, yes. Right, hang on, let me get myself miserable before we go out. <laughs> Bye. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? I'm good. My name is Darren. I work with Suzanne Hughes, who's a local neighbor of uh, Victoria's here in Beverly Hills. Oh, oh, oh. And Suzanne sent me oh, to deliver okay. this invitation thank from uh, the Beverly Hills Socialites. All right, thank you. Great. Bye. Drive safe. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Isn't this so pretty? Oh, my God. That is so nice. This is so American. I've seen Desperate Housewives. Please join me at my home for a lunch and welcoming you to Beverly Hills. Isn't that nice? That's really nice. I got invited to this social luncheon. I have no idea what to expect, but I need to meet some friends, so I'm going to go. Yeah, but like, what are you going to bring to this? Well, I just like bring some Gucci or something. Yeah, no, like something like to eat, I think you're oh. supposed to bring. Like, I'm nobody, but I think you like. In America, it's always like a good idea to bring something that you've made yourself. You know, like a pie. I've never made a pie in my life. Add the shortening and process until the mixture has texture, of course, sand. Today we made a pie, which I really didn't want to make, you know, because I do cook. But making a pie, I've never made a pie. OK, is it all, <laughs> this, is it all in here? <laughs> I don't get this is like foreign. I'm going to have a few. 
can't even read a cookbook. Oh my God. I think okay. people probably see me as a miserable, pouty bitch, but it's really actually not me. You should read what you have to do next. You've got to make it like sand. Add the shortening and process until the mixture has texture, of course, sand. <laughs> oh, I get it now you're reading it. Uh, <laughs> what a cock. <laughs> I laugh every day. I smile a lot. I laugh a lot. Um, probably too much. It's probably a bit annoying sometimes because I find it quite hard to take things seriously. Are you excited about the luncheon? Um, I'm nervous. I don't like, you know, eating at these kind of things. I get really nervous. I can eat for you. Okay, you can eat my food. I can, you know. Because everybody has like a, you know, like a, not a fat friend, I don't mean, a, a sort of, a, you know. No, a, I'm kind of chubby. It's okay. What I meant is, you know, sort of more normal. I hope my hair doesn't get in this. Yeah, me too. Me three. That was really, I really have like phobias about things like that. Yeah, I used to be that way until I worked at a restaurant. But did you like spit in the food, you know, if someone was never. mean to you? No? I would never do that. I would. I'd definitely spit in people's food if I worked in a restaurant. What celebrity, like, if you had to pick right now that you would spit in their food, who would it be? What about Eddie Murphy? I'd spit in his food, definitely. Yeah, because he's got a little... He'd chop his dick off, too. Yeah, ooh. That would teach him, yeah. Right. <laughs> a little big. That, that's a different kind of apple pie. You gotta make sure there's no holes. Oh, it's so boring. <laughs> I'd have much rather just go and buy a great one and then just wrap it up different and just say I did it. That's much more my style. And then this one we can do too? This is so nice, this stuff. It's good? Mm-hmm. Do we need more than one can in there, you think? I just think just put the roof on it and just... Here you go, look. And you didn't even get anything on your outfit. Hey, how are you? I'm wonderful. Lovely to meet Hi, you. Hi, Suzanne. Step right in. <laughs> this is amazing. As soon as I walked in that room, I didn't know whether to laugh, cry, pass out, Get on the next flight home. Did you decorate yourself? Um, yes, I did. Hi, Hi. everybody. Here's Victoria. Hi. These are my girlfriends. Hi. Carol Connors. Great to meet you. And Lena Jolton. Welcome to LA. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much. Welcome so, to La La wow. Land. <laughs> Would you like to sit down? Thank you so much. You know, they were fabulous. They were glamorous, they were gorgeous, they were well-dressed. The lipstick was just major, major red lipstick. I've never seen lipstick like it. <laughs> I must say that I loved so many of your songs. Thank you, and thank you so much for inviting me. I really appreciate because I don't know many people here, so this is very kind of you. Thank you. We're really excited about you being here. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. One lady at the luncheon, she had on like a powder blue trouser suit. She was major. Well, I think of myself as, as a little mermaid. Great. She'd obviously had a big time blow dry. She was fabulous. I would love to do my dolphin call for you because okay. nobody believes okay. I can do it, <laughs> do it until I do it. Who wants to hear it? I okay, I've yeah. heard it. Okay. You're not gonna believe, and then you you're gonna go, it. oh my God, she really does do it. That's fantastic. <laughs> it means welcome to LA, Victoria. <laughs> I just figured, okay, you know what, there's only one way to go here, let's get them all drunk. They're gonna become even more eccentric, even more fun, even more fabulous, and they did. Just one shot. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Let's do another one. I couldn't believe in my own mind that this was for real. It's my eyes and Barbie Benton's boobs. I mean, I don't know if this is normal American behavior. Here's to all the men in my life. May they never meet my husband. <laughs> but it was great. I mean, they live a major life. And when I'm older, I hope that I'm like that. <laughs> Oh, 
my god. First of all, you're wasted. <laughs> Do we want to have some apple pie? Oh, oh my god. god. Oh, you guys, real authentic, amazing. I bet she made that herself. <laughs> I think it looks interesting. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god, she's here. Are you drunk? <laughs> Are oh, you drunk? That is a. <laughs> I would know that face anywhere. Mind the pool. <laughs> what happened? They were so major. Okay, we want. Uh, I need a full rundown of everything. Did everyone. you see them? No. I mean, how would we have seen them? So they were it all was really nice. Unbelievable. Just nice, funny. Is funny an adjective? It is. Okay, so funny could be a good one. David's at the cinema with the boys. I miss them so much. Like, I woke up this morning, you know, and just went, got that empty feeling. Everything I do, I do for David and the boys, so it's it's really hard when I'm away. Brooklyn phoned me this morning. He kissed his, his girlfriend. <laughs> I said, what kind of girlfriend are you looking for, Brooklyn? He says, I want someone who looks just like Mummy. Aww. Yeah, I haven't been away for a long time like this. I'm really homesick, and I find shopping quite therapeutic, as ridiculous as that sounds. Do you like this? No, and that's horrible. Put that back. They're quite nice little shorts. How major is that? Look, these cute little Ralph Lauren shoes. Shoes can make you feel so good. Such a weird thing. They're quite nice. Is that major? That's major. <laughs> Loving that. Oh, oh yeah. Should I just get it? Get it. Have you got my purse? Yeah. I'm just going to pay. I'm going to pay for this. Have you got my purse? Great. Enjoy okay. your day. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I get one of those costumes? Oh, I'm so happy. It made my day. Cute. Thank you very much. Um, I just want to let you all know that because we're going to be looking for houses, mm -hmm. I have arranged for like an earthquake specialist to come. He's going to like an earthquake specialist because California is known for earthquakes. What do you do if there's an earthquake? Just like hang on. I. That's a great question. Oh, he's going to tell he's us all tell this. Us, yeah, I don't okay. Know How are you? Hi, I'm Dean. I'm Victoria. Lovely to meet you. Welcome to California. And what do you do in an earthquake? Do you like hang on? Duck, cover, and hold. If an earthquake struck right now, probably the best place would be underneath this sturdy table. How are you going to react when the earthquake hits? What are you going to do? Remember me, Louise, duck, cover, and hold. You're going to hang on as tight as you can, duck, cover, and hold. Okay. OK. Can you see my knickers? Duck, scream, and hold. Or duck, hug and hold. Duck, shelter and hold. Duck, cover and hold. So this is our 72 hour backpack, okay? okay? This is gonna be your food. food. Okay, that's enough food okay. for two people. You've got ponchos, emergency ponchos. Oh, I couldn't wear that. Gotta have shoes right by your bed as well. Can you run in high heels? Oh, I can run in very high heels. I'm just not myself in flats. Might be more sensible, but it's about posture, even in an earthquake, you'd imagine. Always keep shoes by the bed, preferably nice ones, because the emergency service may be on their way and you want to be looking good. <laughs> You're used to that. And then our 12-hour emergency light stick. Oh, that was beef jerky. <gasps> Love that. Raving light we're cool with, raving whistle we're cool with. Quite loving that silver jacket. You like a burrito. <laughs> Excellent. I'm not keen on the backpack, but apparently I can put everything from the backpack into Hermes' bag, which will be much nicer. OK, you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. All right, this is the world's largest mobile earthquake simulator, so let's go for a ride. OK. What is this? Oh, maybe he's going to play Big some Earthquake! <laughs> <laughs> Everything you've learned, duck, hold on, shelter, whatever it is, you just don't think about that. You just think, shit. <laughs> what happened to duck cover and hold? <laughs> That's what it's about. That bad? That bad. That was bad. Oh my god, honestly, I feel a little bit like 
Yeah. Oh my God, the earth moved for me, baby. <laughs> have you heard they also have aftershocks? <laughs> earthquake I'd be really really scared like I said because where are the children where's David <coughs> so everything I learned today I've got to have at the back of my mind when I'm looking for a house as well I've already looked at probably about 50 or 60 houses but I'm still you know fingers crossed hopefully today will be the day that we find the house I just want to make sure that you know how much all the houses are so then they can't change it when I get there because honestly, some of them that I've seen, there's a special price for Beckham. First one is five million. The house is built from the ground up. Aren't um, uh, houses normally built from the ground up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is nice. I want a light house. I want a bright house. I want a happy house. Victoria, these uh, doors slide back. And child friendly as well. Oh my god, that's a death trap. Be careful, be careful. Oh my, I couldn't even consider it with the children. Yeah. I'm nervous. Okay, How does about, this go when an earthquake, earthquake happens? Yeah. yeah, what about an earthquake? Just take a look at that drop. If you have a few drinks and you have some friends out here and you're all dancing, Woo! someone's going to dance right off the edge there. Do you want to take a picture of me here? Yeah. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. I'm a bit giddy from the spinning. Oh, it's exhausting being fabulous. How many like these leopard rugs? Oh, oh. Don't step out the animals. <laughs> it looked like somebody with no taste had just come in and thrown up everywhere. I sound like I'm being really fussy, and I am. It's very 80s. But we're talking about such a lot of money. You know, it's got to be perfect. I couldn't even... It's like a porn TV. <laughs> This is a great house. I love that fireplace. It's very much my taste. I like this. I've seen so many houses, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that it was perfect. This is a home built in 79, and then shortly after that, it was bought by Lionel Richie, who lived here for a number of years. Right. Well, I love the flooring. Yes, there was stone here before, and he put in Lionel distressed Ritchie wood. laid the parquet floor. That's what I heard. Really? Whilst he was dancing on the ceiling. <laughs> Okay. okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it is like walking the plank. You can see from the city all the way to the ocean. Now tell me, what famous people live around here? DiCaprio lives around the corner and um, Spider-Man. I love that. I love that Spider-Man lives down the road. <laughs> Spider-Man lives down the road in one direction. Batman lives in the other direction. So I figured if it's cool enough for the, all those superheroes, it's going to be good enough for second opinion because it's the nicest house that I've seen to date. I want to make this move as stress-free for the whole family as I can. But I miss them, you know, this is the longest I've ever been away from home and to be honest, I'm struggling a bit, you know. Hello. Hello. I really, really miss David. Normally when you move, you do it as a, as a couple, but David hasn't been able to do it because he's been so busy. Where are you? How's the hotel? So I'm a little bit sad. I love you. So I want to get out the house and I want to go and buy him a watch. As a little bit of Welcome to America gift. Room, back up. So the tough thing is, is that everywhere I go, there is normally paparazzi following. If he saw a photograph of me going into a certain shop, it would ruin the surprise. Okay, Let's just go. Let's just go. We're going to have to try and find like a decoy or something, because he is so going to know what's happening. I don't really want him to know what I'm buying him. So I need to come up with a plan to fool the paparazzi. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a sex shop. So childish. <laughs> that looks so painful. What do you do with this? Does anyone 
one now. I'm going to buy a doll, dress it up as me. Found the dolls. Oh, you found the dolls? Yeah, okay. over here. Ne next to the whips. <laughs> that's nice. You think people are going to believe that that's me? Yeah. Well, we can redo our makeup a bit. Yeah. I'm going to put my glasses on it and then take it for a drive. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. And let the press follow the doll. Coming to life. <laughs> I think she does look a bit like me. <laughs> oh, she got a big old pair of bazongas. It's always if they modelled these dummies on me. We belt her to the chair. That's belt up. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't answer back. Look. <laughs> Where's the wig? I still use quite nice techniques of cutting into the hair to encourage more texture and movement. <laughs> She kind of looks stunned. She looked quite startled. You know, if you're doing what you do to these blow-up dolls, it's not a nice face that's looking back at you. Oh, I've got it in her eye. <laughs> I think that looks good. Yeah. Oh, Let's man. put her in the car, see, you know, if, if she looks believable. So long as the hair stays on, yeah. very believable. Well, apart from the fact she's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Vicky B. I have no idea why anybody would think that I'm a blow-up doll. I wish I could do more without being chased by paparazzi, but the weird thing about them is they obviously earn a lot of money because they have some nice cars. Well, let's stop there. Victoria, welcome. Oh, you're nice and tanned, aren't you? Like some nice. champagne. It is so nice to be able to shop in peace and quiet, isn't it? Oh, this is great. And not have any of the paparazzi anywhere. Well, the decoy doll obviously works. Back up! Make an aisle! Make an aisle! Not coming out unless you back up! Make an aisle! Make an aisle! You guys are terrible. Sorry, guys, Victoria's gone. That's terrible. <laughs> That's bad. Look at that. You're like that. They would love that. So the bottom line is, is that it worked. The plan worked. So shall I wrap this oh, one up for you? Mm -hmm. Perfect. David's got his gift, and I'm so happy with it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank pleasure. you. Bye. And someone's got a blow-up dog that they can take home and do whatever they want to do with it, as long as I get my dress back first. Okay, so this is kind of cool. I just got off the phone with the LA Dodgers, and they want you to throw the first pitch at one of the games. But well, they want me to actually okay. do something. Like throw the first pitch, like they always have a celebrity throw the first pitch at a game, and they want you to do it. I think that's pretty cool. But what if I make them lose? No, well, I don't think your pitch is gonna count. Oh, okay. I don't know too much about baseball. Um, they wear tight trousers. One member of the team actually wears some weird, like, mask, which looks like what we saw in the sex shop. Well, I actually have the people I think that could help you. I need. I do need to learn, because if not, I'm going to look silly. Okay, good. You should probably wear sporty heels. They're they gorgeous. are quite sporty. These are my driving shoes. So Renee has told me that she's got these guys who are going to teach me how to play baseball. So I'm looking forward to meeting them and getting a good lesson of what to do, what to wear. So we get to the baseball field and I'm like looking out and all I can see is like all these like little people. I was like, how far away are they? And then I realised actually they're close. You know what, they're kids. Hi. 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 OK, I'm throwing out the first pitch at the Dodgers game. Is that cool? Yeah. yeah. Can you sound a bit more impressed, please? Yeah. OK. <laughs> so I need you to teach me how to do that, because I don't want to look silly. <laughs> so someone tell me a bit about baseball. 
there's field nine fielders, three outfielders. If you hit the person with the bat, then they can get a ball. Um, put your picture in the ball. Oh, if you're batting, it's a strike. Okay. Okay, so who's going to... Okay, go on. <laughs> Why do you talk funny? Why do I talk funny? She's from England. I'm from England. Yeah. yeah. Why are you wearing heels? Well, do you not like them? Should I not wear heels, do you think? No. No? no. Cleats. Really? Someone show me what okay. I'm going to do, and then I'm going to have a go, okay? Oh, I doubt you're going to need the mask or the padding. OK. Yeah, that was wrong. That was so wrong. You can scoot up here, too. OK. Better? Who are you booing? Yes, what? Okay. <laughs> I'm really bad, aren't I? The kids were great. They taught me a lot. Oh. Oh, I caught it! No, I'm realistic. I'm not kidding myself that I'm going to be good at this. I'm doing it because it's a huge honour to be asked to do it. That was a great one. Very good. I'm not keen on the glove. I think someone might have sweated in it. Keep going right up my crutch. I can't do this. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can tell me. Come on. Who is he? What's your name? Victoria. What's your name? Victoria. Victoria. Hello, Victoria. Hi, I'm Victoria. Victoria. Hi, lovely to meet you. You know, you are a beautiful lady, but you're even more beautiful wearing that Dodger jacket. Oh, you know. thank you very much. <laughs> I hope I don't let everybody down, though, that's the you thing. You won't let anybody down. If he can catch it, you've done the job. Okay. Even if it's on the bounce. OK. Are you smiling? Yeah. OK, good. Thank you very much. Thank you so I'll much. I'll be catching your first pitch, so good luck. OK. okay. And I phoned David, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to throw out the first pitch. Everyone in America says this is a really big deal, this is great. And he says, don't embarrass yourself, which I will. What if I can't find the ball to throw the ball? Who gives me the ball? <laughs> oh, shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Dodgers are pleased to welcome a very special guest to tonight's game to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Help us welcome to America. Victoria Becker. I want to throw myself into America 110%. I have to embrace the culture. Who am I throwing it at? So I was really nervous, you know, because before I went out there, everyone was like, just don't let it bounce. It's a real bad thing if you let it bounce. Tell me when. Ready? Imagine if they all just go, get off, what are you doing? You stupid tart. Imagine, they boo me. Goodness, that was incredible. Oh, David would be so proud. I feel that I've been really welcomed in America. Good luck in LA. Thank you. People want us to be here, they want us to do well. Hey, how are you? It didn't bounce, right? <laughs> I really thought that one of my silicones was going to fly out my armpit then. It's been a really amazing roller coaster ride. I learned quite a lot. Duck cover and haul. I found a house. Wow. It's perfect. Everyone that I met seemed really, really friendly. Why don't you step out of the car, please? <laughs> Welcome to LA. So, David and the boys are arriving tonight in America. I am so excited to see them. I think the kids are going to love it here. Oh, David is going to love it. 
We are so excited about coming to America.